Hey guys, Crystal Vaudry here. Thank you for watching Crystal's Clean Kitchen. So I had a subscriber ask for some eggnog. Now, of course, it's almost Christmas time, so tis the season for all the Christmas drinks. So I normally generally do not drink eggnog because it has tons of sugar in it and bleh, I just, I hate it. But today's episode, I made the most amazing eggnog. It tastes delicious, it's thick, it's creamy, it has the perfect texture and flavor, and it's sugar-free and keto-friendly. Stay tuned. All right, so here's all the ingredients that we are going to be using today. We're gonna be using some almond milk as our base. We're using one cup of that. We are using some aluos as our sweetener. As you know, aluos does the best with liquid things. So we're gonna use about a third of a cup of that. We're gonna be using some spices, some cloves, some cinnamon, some nutmeg, um, vanilla, of course, and heavy whipping cream, and some eggs. Now, with the eggs, we're gonna be using some egg whites and the egg yolks, so don't just separate them and throw the egg whites because those are going to be delicious in this as well. Okay, so we have three eggs. We are going to be splitting the eggs up the egg whites and the egg yolks. So here's how I do it. I just put the egg yolk in one side and then let that separate like that. Now we are going to be keeping the egg whites in the refrigerator until we need them. And then the egg yellow, the egg yolks, we are going to be putting in our KitchenAid mixer. Ah, oh no. That's okay, I can still save it. There we go. <laughs> hey, that happens to all of us, right? I'm gonna see if I can get any more of it out. All right, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, okay, so then I'm gonna put this in the KitchenAid mixer with some sweetener. The three egg yolks, and then I'm going to be doing one third of a cup of aluos. Now, aluos is only about 70% sweet, as sweet as sugar. So if you need to add a little bit more, um, feel free to. Um, if you did, I would just add it in maybe one or two more teaspoons if you, or I'm sorry, tablespoons, if you like it a lot sweeter than that. Okay, let's blend this up. So here is what the final mixture is looking like. Now what we're going to be doing is we are going to be heating up some almond milk and we are going to be slowly adding it to this just to temper it a little bit. And then we're gonna add both of them back to the stove and heat them up slowly. I put one cup of almond milk on the stove and I'm going to heat this up um, until it's a little, not quite boiling, but it's, it's very warm. Then I'm gonna slowly, very slowly, add it into the egg yolks while I'm mixing it. And then of course, transfer it back on the stove. All right, now very slowly I'm going to add in this milk. Now the reason why I'm going to do it slow is because I don't want the egg yolks to start curdling. That would be bad. So just go slow. Dump in a little bit at a time. We need this mixture to start getting to 160 degrees so that it cooks the egg yolks. But we want to cook it, not curdle it. All right, so it was a little frothy after I mixed it all together. That's fine. It's gonna go down a little bit when I'm <coughs> heating this up. Now, as I'm heating this up, I wanna get it to 160 degrees and I wanna stir it continuously so that it doesn't burn, it doesn't curdle, it doesn't do anything like that. You don't want to boil it. Boiling it is not a good idea. That's what's going to curdle everything. I just checked the thermometer and it says that this mixture has reached 160 degrees. So I'm gonna take it off the stove and I'm going to put it outside or in the fridge. I just say outside because it just snowed and it's freezing out here. So we're gonna cool this off and then add the next items. Okay, next we're going to add one cup of some heavy whipping cream. Good job, Hannah, honey. Okay, let's just scoop that all out. Then what we're gonna do is we are going to be adding our spices. I'm going to add a half of a teaspoon of some nutmeg and a half of a teaspoon of some cinnamon and maybe a fourth of a teaspoon of cloves. Then we're going to whip this up and keep it in the fridge to keep it cool. 
All right, I added the one teaspoon of vanilla into this mixture also. Now the reason why I did this separate instead of just adding it into the milk as it was cooking is because this is going to make it a little bit more of like a thick frothy mixture, which is what you want for this drink. So I added my egg whites and what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be whipping it until they form stiff peaks. You could also add a half a teaspoon of some cream of tartar, which would make it a little firmer. I don't have any today, however, so I'm just gonna do it without it, and that will be fine. And then I'll be putting it in the fridge until everything is ready and I can mix it all together. Here's what you want your egg whites to look like. They're very stiff. And I'm gonna add this into the same bowl as the whipping cream. All right, so I've added the heavy whipping cream and also the egg whites. And now I'm gonna just add this other mixture that's been cooling off outside, and we're gonna mix it all together. Ooh, this is gonna be so nice and frothy and just perfect. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a lot of steps, but it was pretty simple to do. Let's give this a taste test. Mm. Oh wow. This is so good. You guys, it's thick, it's creamy, it's the perfect amount of sweetness. You're going to love this. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Merry Christmas.